time for the finale of Spirits of Mystery Amber Maiden. Let's go ahead and get the game going. We don't want to waste any time. Uh, let's see here. The lock on the box is an unusual shape. Fair enough. Doesn't really help me much, does it? What do we have over here? The impressions on these columns look like other shapes I have seen. I haven't seen these other shapes that you speak of. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna just go ahead and jump right in here and uh, start finding stuff. No sense wasting any time whatsoever. We are doing a hidden object scene here. This is the final chapter of the game. We are a princess, which is great. I'm a little disappointed we haven't seen any unicorns yet. But I don't know if there are any in this game. Maybe we have to play a different game to see unicorns and fairies and what have you. So I would like to hear what you guys are thinking of this game. It is relatively short, in my opinion. I think I'm about two hours into it. But sometimes that's okay, because the investment in these games tends to be a bit on the shorter side. There's nothing wrong with that. I do have other games on my channel, of course. If you're here because you have searched for the game. And for those of you folks that are already subscribed to me, thank you very much. And let's check out the other casual games I have too on the channel. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, find things. That's a kind of an awkward fish, don't you think? So a badger, a letter, a horse, there's a letter. What does a badger even look like? Uh, is that a badger? Sure it is. A horse, a mask, and a bell. There's a mask. So now we just need a bell. A bell or a horse, of course. There is Mr. Horse, and we will hint for the last one just to keep things trucking along here. Alright, we have a magnifier. Cool. I need the right key. Oh, okay, I actually just realized what that's for. And I have seen those shapes before. Crap. Alright, what are we doing? Ooh, it's a puzzle. Okay, I'll align the bas relief tiles to create uniform patterns. Click on the arrows adjacent to the row. Oh my goodness. What are we doing here? I don't think I understand. What does this do? Nothing. Oh, right here. Okay. Um. Sure. Is it starting to look like anything interesting? It's hard to tell. Oh, actually it is. It's going to look like a circle. Okay, so that's done. This is done. Oh, look, the bottom's done. So I just need to do this one. Hello. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa, secret super hiding place. Yummy. Alright, well, let's go ahead and hop through the door here. Woo, chemistry set. Who doesn't like a little chemistry? Okay, so before we get that, let's find out what this is all about. My amulet is showing me the outlines of items I need here. Hmm. Fascinating. Fascinating. Who doesn't like a little chemistry action? That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back to that for sure. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get going on these hidden object scenes. They're getting a lot more difficult, aren't they? Uh, tobacco pipe. 
That's a old-fashioned tobacco pipe. Five. There's five in here. I don't see it. All right, well, let's keep on keeping on here. Oh, there's five right there. I just saw the sparkle out of the corner of my eye. Mmm, pig's head. Yum. I've actually been in a slaughterhouse for part of my job. It wasn't that I worked there, I had to go for a tour of it. And I got to see how the live hogs are processed from start to finish. Very interesting. It was nice to see where the ribs come from, the baby backs and all that good stuff. If you're a ve vegetarian, I'm, I apologize for mentioning this. <laughs> If that offends you um, it is my job so I have to sort of pay attention well my job now is more dealing with a bakery so buns and rolls and uh, bagels and stuff like that but there was a moment in time when I was dealing more with sausages and hamburgers and uh, bologna and all that good stuff oh what am I doing I need a man Hi, man. Ah, mortar and pestle. Is that what that's supposed to be called? Well, I guess we should go up the stairs here. Ooh, creepy sound. Heat emanates from the sphere. This is the lock curse about which my father told me. What? He stole my hint. Bastard, he stole my hint. Hi there, buddy. Oh, get his tail. Yummy. Alrighty then. I guess we're going to keep on keeping on here. Swap the weights on the balance so the blue crystals line up in the frames. The weight for each balance much, much must add up to seven. So how do I swap them? Like this? Sure. Hey, that one worked. I don't know, let's try this. Yay! We'll swap these two out. Oh, that was a sweet puzzle, folks. I enjoyed that puzzle. Okay, well, let's keep on pushing forward here. I'm liking that like, the back uh, tracking hasn't been... Uh, excruciating. Missing an eye, missing an eye, missing an eye. Eye for an eye. Ooh, I'll take your key. Uh, yeah. To make the crystal three, mix three components. Liquor from the moonflower, liquor from the ashes of a golden lizard's tail, liquor from the eggshell of a pure, pure bird. Uh, okay. Can I not put that in my backpack or something? No? Alrighty then, well, I have a key now. So how am I supposed to... Can't really do much else in here. Unless that's where that key is supposed to go. Turn it. Alright, let's go inside and find out what's in here. Ooh. It won't open. Nope. The natural accelerator for promoting rapid growth in plants. Okay, well, give me that then. Uh, another owl. Hmm. What's with all these crazy owls? Oh, his eyeball's back now. Alright, let's go over here now. 
Oh boy. Three, four, six. Um. What? <laughs> Okay, I don't quite understand what this is all about. Four. Sure, why not? That's upside down. Yay, we did it, somehow. <laughs> Ooh, sexy. Here's their eyeballs. The owl eyeballs. Yay. Awesome. Wait, what? Do I care what order I grab them in? I sure hope not. Uh, so do we just go and shove those eyeballs back into the other area? Oh no, hidden object scene. Alright, let's get into it then. Ooh. Funky eyeball. There's Mr. Pipe. Last time there was a key under the shoe. This time no such thing. Fine, fine, fine. Relax. Give me me controls back. Still no use for that fish there. Okay, so what do we, uh, see that looks like a proper belt. Lizard. I guess that's not a lizard, is it? A feather, a lizard, and a scroll. Feather. A fan is right there. So now we have a lizard right there. A scroll and a heart. Scroll on a heart. Hmm. The heart could be anything, really. Do you guys see it? Nope. There's a scroll, and we'll just hint for the last one. Oh, wow. The doily's a heart. Clever. And we have a boat hook. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if this is what we need to do, but we are going to put the blue eye in. And the red eye in. And the green eye in. So what does that do? I don't know. <laughs> Clever. So we've added the eyeballs, now what do we have to do? <sighs> Something's missing here. Magnifying glass? No. Accelerator? No. Okay. Oh, I see, it's different shape. Ah, alright, so we have to figure out what that looks like. Great. Hmm. Not entirely sure what we got here. Can we just dump this here? Yep. Oh, this. Tail. So we still need whatever that is. Oh, no, actually we have that. So we need whatever this is and whatever that is. Okay. Well, we actually have almost all the parts. So we just gotta figure out what this boat hook is for. Um, go here, maybe? No, I can't really go out that way. Uh, how far back am I going to have to go? <laughs> I don't think it's as far back. Yeah, crap. Oh well. Let's go back, 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 back. <laughs> it's gotta be up here somewhere. No, where am I? Shoot. Here. 
So, what are we looking for now? We were there. No, we were here already. It's gotta be up. Hmm, interesting. Now I'm sort of... Aha! Hello there, owl. So I'm gonna take it, I need the boat hook for this. Yank that a little closer. Eggshell. Aha! So we'll put the eggshell here first. And then we'll do the hidden object scene. Maybe we'll get the last thing we need from here. Feather. What do you guys think? Is that wishful thinking? What the hell is that? Oh, there you go. Flower. Uh, so we need scissors. What else do we need? Oh, we get to use the... Oh, that was a dog? I thought that was a pig or a hog. Oops. Oh well. So a fish and a fly. There's a fly right there. Oh, it's a bumblebee. Oh, we need a zebra. A zebra and a snake. Where is the snake? We don't need the horse this time. Seahorse? Oh, there's the snake right there. So we need scissors, a queen, and a fish. There's the scissors. Now we need a queen and a fish. Where the heck is the queen and the fish? There's the fish, so we'll just hint for the queen. Oh, it's a chess piece. Wow, man. Alright, we have a flower. I think that's what we need, isn't it? Let's find out. No? What? No, we don't need a flower? Are you crazy? Oh, I thought we needed a flower. Oh well. I guess that's not exactly what we need the flower for. Uh, let's go back, I guess. Aha! Just to add one extra step. Some seeds. Oh no, you're going to make me grow this, aren't you? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's plant the seeds. Yay, put the seeds. What? Sorry, I missed what that said. Cook the magic elixir. It's following the directions in the recipe book. Um, okay. So we put the seeds in here. We put the elixir in there. We grab the flower. We stick it over here and we chop it up. And then we put it in there. Cool. Uh, I don't know what this is doing. Oh, we... The tail there, probably. Yes! Put that in the yellow one. I like how they're color-coded. Thank you! Put that in there. Come on, grab it. Nope. Oh. What? <laughs> There we go, get in there. Bash up all those eggs. Sweet. Uh, so I've got everything there, now what? Do I just open it? Sure, why not? So what am I supposed to do? We have all three elixirs. Okie dokie, so where am I supposed to put these elixirs? Has to be over here somewhere. With the owls. Okay. Orange. Orange, you glad to see me? No, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, pink. Blue. So, what? Do I just stick it here? 
I don't understand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Mosquito, mosquito. That is so cool. All right. The pink one, orange one, and then last but certainly not least, the blue one. Cool. That is very cool. So now what? Mm hmm. We did all that. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any inventory. Oh, that was kind of cool. Grab it, grab it! Yay, we have the Crystal of Owlish Wisdom. Now it's time to go save our mom. Mom, I'm coming. I'm not sure how I did major climbing, but... Sure, whatever. I said only magical climbing. Mom. Oh, he's, my dad looks a little bored over there. Doesn't he look bored? Oh no, he looks concerned. Here we go, folks. Put that on there. Last, the precious little family is all together. This time, there will be no escape, and my role will be eternal. Okay, what's with the dog? Barney! I never thought I'd see you again! Zolda, is that you? Brother! Oh, how I've missed! you. <laughs> the last thing I remember was walking along the amber coast where I found a strange amber ring. As soon as I put it on, an immense dark power washed over me. After that, I was no longer myself. It was as if my soul was made to watch as the evil of the ring used my body for its will. But even after all those years, Barney still remembered me. His love saved me and destroyed the Amber Curse forever. Huh. Amber Maiden. At last, my daughter and sister have come home. Today is truly a day of days. We must celebrate. Hmm. Nice rainbow. All right, folks. Well, that is the conclusion of Spirits of Mystery, Amber Maiden. Nice little twist there at the end. Uh, ties up the story quite nicely. I do know there is a second game of the series, if you will. And I'll be playing that at some future moment in time. So look at all these wonderful folks. You thank them all for creating a great game. And I will see you next time. I am your Gibbs, and thank you for one for watching. Talk to you all very soon.